Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Today is June 3rd, 2023, and it's Saturday. Got a live view of Yellowstone. I believe they took down the barrier along the boardwalk where the uh, um, new spring that erupted back in 2018 started to erupt again. Um, they opened it up, and we got one little buffalo down here on the bottom left-hand corner grazing. I found some real interesting historical information about earthquakes um, that have not been actually um, categorized. Some, yeah, one was a magnitude 6.1, I believe, along the Snake River Plateau. And the earliest known earthquake ever recorded there in Yellowstone. No magnitude was given because it was a long time ago. 52 earthquakes on this map going all the way down towards Salt Lake City. I wanted to show the area of Yellowstone and these two other earthquakes. Uh, we got a 3.2 and a 3.9. Uh, the 3.9 was actually yesterday and then today they had a 3.2. Uh, both of them near Saratoga, Wyoming. The 3.2 earthquake occurred at 2.06 a.m. And five people said they felt that earthquake. Now this is the one by Saratoga, Wyoming. It was near the Colorado border. Then at 4.53 a.m. yesterday, this would have been the uh, second. It's actually listed here, universal time um, as of today would have been at 4.53 a.m. 23 people said they felt that earthquake. And both of these earthquakes were near the Medicine Bow Mountain uh, Reserve. It's a national forest. Let me show you on Google Earth. So here we have the Medicine Bow National Forest. There's a few earthquakes faults that are through here. One is along um, I-80, and I couldn't actually find the exact location. But more likely, we got other faults that come down to where um, these earthquakes occurred. Now, in 2022, there was also a magnitude 3.8. They don't have a lot of earthquakes in this area. They are rare. Um, but as you know, we got plate movement going on. And the North American plate is slowly moving, going um, southwest. The 3.8 earthquake, they gave it an intensity level of 4, which means it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, they may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, and doors were rattling. Automobiles rocked noticeably. It's a little chilly there, currently 46 degrees. Looks like the crowds have gathered together to watch Old Faithful go off. Maybe we'll wait a minute or two and see if it goes off. The camera keeps cutting in and out. I figure it gets about two frames per second. That's why we got the uh, jogging going on there. And they probably got a lot of people online watching. Maybe what, that's why it's being interrupted. Oh, it looks like it's trying to go. I found a document, um, actually an old newspaper article about the Yellowstone Inn dating back to 1891 and how it was open for business and all the different amenities that it had. Yeah, it's not going off very big, is it? That maybe I'll, there it goes. Okay. And it talked about um, the different geysers in the location promoting Yellowstone National Park. I also found some other news articles about um, an automobile race. Um, I believe that was in 19... Oh, I can't remember. I'll have to go back in my history and look. Um, but there was an automobile race going through North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, Yellowstone, Montana, and to Seattle. And I'll see if I can find that article. And I'll show that to you also. Yeah, pretty spectacular. 
It's currently 48 degrees, a little chilly, and they are expecting rain tomorrow. Looks like this might be what's considered a short eruption. I have seen in the past where Old Faithful actually, because of the winds, um, sprayed water all the way down to the uh, forward boardwalk, drenching people, getting them all wet. Yeah, they're zooming in a little bit. That's kind of cool. Yeah. But I did find some articles, which I'm going to show you now, after this, um, of some large earthquakes, um, before they started monitoring earthquakes, just past reports of earthquakes there at Yellowstone. The largest being a magnitude 6.1, which was along the Snake River Plateau. Yeah, that earthquake um, actually made clocks stop. And it rattled for over a minute. Looks like it's dying down a little bit now. Usually it has a little uh, gusher just before it finishes up. It'll die down like it is now and then it'll shoot up again. Yeah, I posted um, a video last night of Old Faithful going off sometime after 7 p.m. and I put it to music. So if you want to go and look at that video after watching this one, yeah. Zooming in a little bit closer as it dies down. See there was that one little gusher there. Okay, let's go look at this article I was or paper I was talking about. I'll give you a link down below in the more information box but this is from 1947. This is the one that was a magnitude 6.1 and it says southwestern Montana Yellowstone Park motion rapid lasted about one minute felt by all awakened by all uh, frightened many dishes windows rattled houses creaked hanging objects swung and pendulum clocks that were facing north stopped. Old-time residents state this was the most severe shock ever felt in Yellowstone National Park. Several were frightened at Snake River Station. Beds rattled. Two shocks were felt in northeastern cor corner of the park. Building Creek and loose objects rattled. Uh, gasoline lamps hanging on hooks from ceilings swayed east to west. It was given an intensity level of either um, 8 to maybe a 10, which means for a 10, most masonry and frame structures would be, have been destroyed. Ground cracked, railroad lines would have bent, and landslide. Now for 8, panel walls thrown out of frame, fall of walls, monuments, chimneys, sand, blowholes, would have been ejected out of the ground and drivers of automobiles uh, would have been disturbed. So going to Google Earth, here's the Snake River Plateau and we know that the hot spot is moving up in this direction. Alright, so 1959 there was a magnitude 7.2. That was probably one of the largest, fourth largest earthquake uh, recorded here in the United States. And look how close it is to the 6.1 right there. The other earthquake, let me zoom in a little bit closer. You can see Hedge and Lake. Oh, and there was another earthquake. Um, I want to say 1915 when they were building the dam. But it actually sloshed the water up over the dam during its construction and there was uh, false reports that the dam had actually broken. 1915, right there. Yeah, this is the earthquake. Let me bring this over. That shook up Hedge and Lake. Okay. In 1935, there was another earthquake. And here you can see at the top, we got uh, Yellowstone Lake. And they didn't have a magnitude because they weren't 
um, doing that back then. They didn't have the Richter scale, but it was given an intensity level of six. In fact, the Richter scale was invented in 1935. So I found the area for the earthquake. Here we have 1871, the first, first earthquake ever recorded. And they were camped on the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. I found this under Yellowstone Nature Notes. And it says Hayden, leader of the first scientific exploration party of Yellowstone area. He filed the report in 1872. But it says while we were encamped on the north side of the lake, near Steamboat Point on the night of the 20th of July, 1871. We experienced several shocks of an earthquake, and these were felt by two other parties, 15 or 20 miles distance on different sides of the lake. We were informed by mountain men that these earthquake shocks are not uncommon, and at some seasons of the year, very severe. And this fact is given that the Indians as a reason why they seldom or never visit that portion of the country. I have no doubt that if this part of the country should ever be settled and carefully and careful observations made, we, it will be found that the earthquake shocks are very, a very common occurrence. And it goes on to say that on the 19th of August, we moved our camp down to the lake to Steamy Point. Our camp was situated on a high bluff on the edge of the lake. Every night while at this place, we experienced earthquake shocks, even lasting from five to 20 seconds. We named it Earthquake Camp. The earliest record of seismic activity in the park was also noted by Captain J.W. Barlow leader of a second scientific expedition encamped on the southern arm of Yellowstone Lake. So let's, I'll show you where that's at. All right, so let's bring this out. And it would probably be this arm down here. They call this um, the southern arm and then the other one, the southeast arm. August 20th, 1871. We experienced last night the singular sensation of an earthquake. There were two shocks, the first one being quite severe, accompanied by a rumbling and rushing sound. I wonder if the rushing sound was a landslide. Apparently, the tremors had been impressive enough to cause Barlow to comet again on the 22nd of August, where he was encamped near the lower falls of Yellowstone River. During the night, the concussion caused by the falling water reminded me of the earthquakes felt on the lake a few nights prior. Music